us so much pleasure. He's a fairy tale of a horse, but there's probably thousands of them out there just like him. I guess he's the poster child for all of them. For all they have done for us, for all that they are, may they always have green pastures, each and every one. Great equestrian cultures arose and thundered across antiquity. Today, most have vanished, but here on the steppes of Mongolia, Little has changed since the time when the horse Bikhalai Shavalsky returned from Mongolia. He carried a skull and hide that would prompt the announcement of a new species. In a race for specimens, stallions were slaughtered to subdue mares. Mares were killed to secure foals. Dozens died en route to zoos and animal collectors in the West. Shavalsky's horses were last sighted in the wild in the 1960s. A decade later, fewer than 300 survived, in captivity only. This endangered species was declared stallions spar and court young mares in a drama as old as the hills. Born in the reserve. To increase the gene pool, horses are still brought in from the west. But prospects for a self-sustaining population are promising. Mongolia's preservation of the Taki seems a fitting tribute to an animal who has given us so much. Domesticated, the horse revolutionized our world. But in the process, he was also transformed. The legendary Arab is just one of more than 150 breeds, some honed for work, some for sport, others for sheer shell. Yet his wild spirit burns bright.
The Spanish horse boasts one of the oldest pedigrees. His speed and stamina were praised by the Romans. The famous Spanish riding school in Vienna was founded in his name. A dancer's grace made him a favorite of monarchs and earned him the title Royal Horse of Europe. Today, he inspires a new generation. At the Royal Andalusian School of Equestrian Art in the town of Jerez in southern Spain. Few gain admission here. Only first-rate horses, trainers, and students. A strict curriculum has produced several Olympic competitors. The school also keeps tradition alive. Once a week, the public is invited in to enjoy the splendors of another age. In 18th century costume, riders recreate the height of classical horsemanship as it was practiced throughout the courts of Europe. Most spectacular are the airs above the ground. Horses naturally leap and kick when fighting. Centuries ago, cavalry mounts were trained to perform these moves in battle. Eventually, each gesture became an end in itself, as formal as ballet. A supreme effort, the capriole demands vertical loft, virtually in place. Few can perform this exacting dance with the power and precision of the Spanish horse. Power. 